What is going on guys? This is Dylan from We The Coasters as we are checking on into Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. Lots of updates going around here at the park including work on the new front entrance, stuff about Hollow Scream and the Pass Holder Lounge. Which, speaking of which, I want to show you real quick about Hollow Scream because they do have auditions open. And just showcasing real quick, you can scan a QR code to submit your online application. They are held weekly on Fridays from 3 p.m. till 8.30 and Saturdays from 11 to 4.30. So, if you do want to be a part of a scare actor or work at Hello Scream, I do recommend checking that out. And of course, without further ado, enjoy today's feature presentation over at Bush Gardens Tampa. So, if you've seen how the last couple trips to Bush Gardens went, it was absolutely crazy. Today, it doesn't look absolutely crazy in the parking lot, and it doesn't look crazy overall at the um, the line getting into the park. Also, as far as passing our exclusive stuff, the one for this month is Kumba. Uh, Quasi was in July. I did not get that one, so I'm making sure I get those two cups today, right as I leave. So that is a good sign altogether. Because you know me, I have to get those cups. Exclusive stuff. Also, take a look at this. This used to be a show over here, like way back in Haiti. They got rid of the stage, but. They're transforming this area. I wonder what it is. Zombie fallout shelter. And of course, this is going to be in September when this will be. This is going to start September 9th. And then it's going to go all the way down to Halloween. So as you can see, it's primarily going to be on Friday through Sunday in September. And then October, it's going to add a Thursday starting on the 6th. And then we'll work its way down. And then, of course, you could scan for tickets right over here. What are they doing over here? Hmm, interesting. Although we'll figure that out at a later time, there is a thing why we're also here. This ride right here in particular, Iron Gwazi. As you guys have heard, I will be up in Cedar Point on Sunday and Monday for the most part. And then probably a little bit Tuesday, maybe Saturday, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, as far as the crowd's looking, it doesn't look too crazy. So, uh, I'm probably going to get a ride or two on Iron Gwazi. And I love this thing so much. Ever since this is open in March, and of course we had a ride before in February, this has been one of my favorite roller coasters. And I am so happy for it. Really, I am. But again, like I said, you know, before, the last couple times, this area in particular has been absolutely crazy. Lots and lots and lots of people. So, we're going to give you a second, and we'll see what the wait time is like right now. Now, the wait time right now is 45 minutes, but they're probably running a little slow right now. So, nothing too drastic, but uh, I'm going to see what it's really like in the main entrance and see how it goes from there. First ride of Iron Gwazi gonna be a front row ride. Oh boy, let's have a blast, shall we?
one. A couple of new Iron Gwazi merches here. This one for $32.99. Interesting look. This will be featured on the cups sometime later. And we have this Iron Gwazi shirt. This one also for $32.99. I do like this one more of the two. And they have brought back the Coaster Dynamics Nano Coaster of the original Gwazi. And uh, we'll see what else. I know they have the Passover Cups also here too, which I'll look at a little later. Uh, other than that, no other shirts I see. Hmm. They also have the special edition Iron Gwazi uh, box over here that is probably similar to like this here, but first time I've ever seen this too, so that's interesting. Very cool though. I want to give a pro tip to people who come here for the very first time and randomly come during the summer. Now, this place right here, Sabor Cafe, is a very good place to eat. But there's one problem with this place. This uh, food venture here just gets super long of a wait. And I mean, it will be out the door in the extended queue. My advice, don't come to the front of the park to get food for lunch. You will regret it. Uh, definitely go to Dragonfire. That's one of my personal takes I like to go to. And also, uh, Zambi Smokehouse. Those two really have... Not that long of waits and terrific food. So just kind of want to mention that if you do come here. But this is a good place to eat. But just be warned though, those lines will be long. If you are looking for a good sweet place to eat, Sultan Sweets definitely is one of the good places that's out here. They do have uh, a limited edition funnel cake goes over here with uh, what looks like fruity pebbles over here, which it's limited time. It's $13.99. It's red velvet also too. Interesting. I did want to showcase what it's like in here because uh, this place is really cool. So, obviously, you have the Starbucks coffee over here with big giant cookies over here and muffins. And then, of course, you got your grab and goes over here. And then, this is where a lot of the sweet stuff are here. Not a lot, though, today. They got these Rice Krispie treats on a stick, gluten free brownies and cookies, and then you got your fudge cookie cream fudge, I'm mean, going to on there, peanut butter fudge, cookies and cream, dip Oreos, peanut turtle, vanilla fudge, chocolate fudge, and banana fudge. I believe banana nut to be exact. And then they got saltwater taffy over here. Wow, that's tempting. But yeah, I just want to showcase that real quick. If you ever come in here, this place has great smells and great desserts out here. So do recommend. This is over by the front of the park, which is right over here, because I wanted to go back by the area over here, because I will be meeting up with Lynn again over by the Adventure Outpost, but more in the shade, because I definitely don't want to be sweating out here. But they do have these parkscapes over here, these coaster dynamics of the wooden stuff for Sheikr, Iron Gwazi, and Cheetah Hunt. And they also have coaster dynamics, like I said, for the original Gwazi and Iron Gwazi over here. Then they also have it for Cheetah Hunt, Montu, Sheikr, and Pumba all right here. I want to show you just a model real quick what they have of the hardscapes over here. That also has Scorpion and Tiger, so along with the aforementioned roller coasters and Falcon's Fury, and then the wooden cutout of Iron Quasi. As you know, Bush Gardens also opened a cast member lounge that used to be the treetop area, and it's upstairs. We also got Lynn with us with a new look. So let's go up the stairs and show you what it's like when you go up here. Now, of course, I actually have never been upstairs before into this area, so this is actually gonna be brand new for me overall. And here it is. So we'll show our passes in a bit. This is when you walk in and check in and then you enter the lift and we'll show you from there. So you do get free water, of course, which is awesome. And then this is what it's like going in here. And wow, they have a lot of throwback stuff over here, which is awesome. This is the original Bush Gardens uh, logo and entrance as you come on in here. That's awesome. This is when Kumba first opened. Love the concept art of this. Pirates 4D, that's where the, uh, the theater is. And that has been kind of on and off used, but that was an all right show. Akbar Adventure Tours. Oh man, this was a throwback and a half. I never got to do this, but I did see a video over next mission theme park. I'll put a link in that in the top right corner. Another one from that same ride over here. Rhino Rally, that was one of the first few rides that opened up as I came to Bush Gardens and 
Unfortunately, that is no more, and they've been digging that up, which we'll show you a little later. The brewery tour, which actually is now where Guazi and Iron Guazi is. This is a cool photo, I like this a lot. This is really neat. That was back in 2005. So that was a year that it opened. Showing the concert series. And then this is cool. So they have chairs here with plugins so you could charge your phones. You have a couple TVs over here. They have this in the language, I believe, in uh, the African language. And then there's the emergency exit that's over here. And then a back way for the employees over here. Hand sanitizer around here. Really cool throwback stuff that's out here. Now you also can get food over here. They do, does cost you, but just wanted to showcase real quick. And then where they cook all the food in there. And then you get some spectacular views around this area. Now below us is the restaurant and the Jurek bar area, but you get views of Cobra's Curse and Montu over here. And then to the left of the area, you get the Serengeti over here. So you get to see the giraffes uh, whenever they get fed. And, uh, a little bit of birds over here as well. But I already know, I like the views of getting like the coasters itself. So Cobra's Curse and Montu, definitely uh, fantastic to see. Montu, the Vietnam Invert. One of my favorites. I'm gonna get ready to do a ride on that, but uh, one problem. Mine is kinda crazy. Oh boy. So, got off on my second ride on our Gwazi. Lens first. Let's just say real quick, before I talk about that, the ride just broke down. Like, I mean, we got lucky. Yep. Row two is what we got. And uh, yeah, other than that, the ride was great. Running phenomenal. And yeah, but like I said, sucks for those guys who uh, are about ready to get on. But uh, man, we got on at a very good time. All right, so this time we are actually going to try to go on Montu. Now, Cobra's Curse was actually down earlier. And from what it looks like, it is still down, which sucks because there is a little bit of a line people are wondering what's going on and no one's wanting to go over in the line so it explains a lot of things however i did see a car go down actually oh, never mind it is open my apologies i thought it was closed still but yeah people just don't know what they're doing it was down earlier however there's an interesting thing lynn what in the world do you have on your shoulder what is I'm this i'm not even in the camera look at yes, this you are. what in the look world is this. that that is absolutely insane she was only Ten dollars. Also, Silver Scripts is twenty minutes, so uh, they can send Ryan Monty.
That was good. Is this for where I get Cheetah Hunt, currently a 50 minute wait. That's way too long for me to wait. Besides, it has those very not comfortable over the shoulder restraints made by Intamin. Thank you very much. But that doesn't mean somebody else will get the ride. Someone who's a Platinum Pass member has a one time quick queue. Yeah, sure. With music blast in the background, too. So, she's gonna do Cheetah Hunt. She's gonna get some footage. And we'll meet her at the end. So, enjoy your ride on Cheetah Hunt. So, Lynn here. We're gonna go ahead and do the back road, Cheetah Hunt. Something that I forgot to mention, it appears that there are three trains operating at this moment. So, just... Good lord, this is going to be very uncomfortable. Minus five points for the restraints. And minus one for the little rough. I mean, it's a somewhat older ride, so don't expect to be the smoothest. And also, Dylan, I apologize on behalf of this uh, pretty wobbly footage. So. More stuff showing for Hollow Stream that's over here as Falcon's Fury is reopened, which we'll talk a little more about that in a bit. But take a look. This is part of a scare zone that's going to be coming on by here where the old Rhino Rally area used to be. And look at this, a cemetery. Nothing too particular that I see. Just, you know, kind of typical stuff. Probably someone hiding in these little areas here. Definitely someone will be over here. Definitely someone will be in either one of these two little houses, I guess you could say, or at least uh, props there. And then as far as the update on... Project Jethro, I don't see anything too major going on. They were working on this area the last time I came here, but I have not heard or seen anything since. Got one over here too. Got messages. I love how there's gates here. That's really cool. And we'll see if there's anything on this side. Now, last time we had come here, they had a couple of construction over here, but there are trees that have definitely grown over in this area. And I don't see anything over here in this little spot. So like, see my fingers pointing right around here. There's construction there. I haven't seen anything, but if we find out any word, we'll let you know as soon as possible. Falcon's Fury has finally reopened. And that is a great sign to see after a lot of issues that's been coming around left and right. And it's finally reopened. Now, I will not be doing Falcon's Fury because I am too tall. Somebody you else will. Check? No, I'm not taking a risk. Uh, but, uh, of course, I'm not doing it. Lynn's doing it. Uh, she has actually never done Falcon's Fury. Is that correct? That is correct. Oh, boy. So, you ready to see what it's like? No. It's not that bad. I don't it look it. It is terrible. <laughs> All right. We'll let you know how she does. 
Falcon Fury. I went on once just to get a feel of it, just to know what I expect. And we are going again, this time for the footage. So, let's see what happens. We've got Dylan over there, Mr. Tall Boy, unable to ride, way over there. What you doing? You gonna hang out with the park attendees? Oh, what you doing? Oh. Aww. Hi. I'm gonna stay right there. Uh, attention, Falcon Fury. Please be behind that white safety line and away from the metal gates. Once again, please be behind that white safety line and away from the metal gates. Thank you. Actually, we're just gonna do this. Get some footage of the. Uh, yeah, that. So we got Dylan over there, we've got some rando next to me, uh, doesn't like Fast and Furious, but calls himself a fizz, like, it's a screen ride. It's, it's, it's a good ride. It's good. Where's the story This line? guy doesn't know quality. I don't like Fast and Furious, so I honestly can't judge. What does, he, what does everybody say about, you know, Fallon? You know, the worst ride ever. Yeah, exactly. Nobody talks about Fallon, but everybody yeah, but talks nobody. about Fast and Furious either says that it's great or it's bad. Well, well, because Fast and Furious always has an empty line, and the queue is like an hour long to walk through. The queue has oh, no people. Have fun on the Ferris wheel. The queue, has, the queue like has no people, right? And but it still has like a 15 minute wait because the queue is that long. Yeah, it's. I thought the it was a is, The queue is part of the experience. You can follow. Hi, Dylan. We're going up. Hey guys. Up, up, up. Oh, this is not so bad. I would like some acknowledgments. <laughs> I would like to thank my mom and my dad. Have you been on it? my sister Vivian. Uh, you know, you would never buy this, but still, here it is. Your sister slash daughter, whoever you are, is riding this. There is Iron Wazzy in the back over there, and then, uh, I think I my finger. Then there is Montu, Cobra's Curse, uh, Cheetah Hunt. So yeah, I gotta love that Cheetah Hunt and Iron Wazzy are right next to each other. Then we got a Chico over here. Yeah, the three musketeers of my favorite coasters here at Bush Gardens Tampa. A close second is, of course, Matu. We're going up pretty high. Um, and we're going face down. If you do not like heights, I recommend closing your eyes right now. Let's go! No screaming, gosh. It's a great time to I'm gonna scream whenever I want. Boom. And... Oh, oh, I can't even put up, damn it! Did you like it? Can we go again? Yes. My ears <laughs> hurt. Can we go again? Yes, we can go again. Yay, yeah. I love it, I like it. Oh, can I kill it? I don't know. Okay. Wait, Dylan told me, ah, oh, oh, dang, you saw me cross. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for saying the D word. Love you guys. Bye. All right, third time. Uh, this time we are going to do a POV, so I'm not going to yak as much. Well, actually, I'm not going to yak at all. You might hear other people talking, but that's okay. Um, yeah, if you want to see a POV of that, Dylan, you better have a link or something at the top right corner or top left. Some corner, I don't know. But yeah, there's that. So I'm going like one more time. Those of you who are in marching band know exactly what that means. Hi, Jared. 
Because he's watching, wanting to watch it drop. More footage over here by the train station. And this is a rather interesting one here. Trinkets and treasures. And this is over, like I said, across from the train station where you can also interact with the animals. This is very cool. Get a little bit of a voodoo vibe. If you get what I mean. I got more over here, so there'll definitely be some interactions within this area for sure. This one, though, holy cow. Pretty spacious for a scare zone. They are definitely going all out in this area. Definitely be some people hanging around the trees for sure. Or I should say the big tree. Very cool to say the least. One more scare zone that's over here. That is actually across where Cheetah Hunt's Break Run is. And this area is a very well known because they like to hide in these little bushes over here to scare people. They'll just, they'll blend in through here. It's like in a distance, it looks like cornfields. You can really blend in here. But instead, over by the Sesame Street area here, more scare zones being around here for Hollow Scream. Because it's a, you know, kids zone. Exactly. Turn back, beware the shadows. So definitely they're gonna be all around this area here, no doubt about it. And same with over here. Hey. Oh. You got caricatures over here, a little cardboard there. Definitely gonna be very interesting to say the least here. Where's the siren head? <laughs> yeah, right. And they're all right around this area here. So very interesting to say at least so. They'll just blend in here, smoke will come around the area, or I guess you could say uh, fog, and then they'll just hop out and scare you really good. Especially this area in particular. They really like to blend in very well. So uh, if you do come here in Hollow Screen, be aware of this area, it will get some people. Round three, Iron Gwazi. Let's have fun with this one.
so we're back. This time we're getting some nighttime footage. As you can see after those ride after that ride there on Falcon's Fury, nighttime is kinda getting there. It's kinda got that weird somewhat nighttime, somewhat daylight still, but I mean there's right? a drizzle. Yeah, also there's a drizzle. It's 8.30, so I mean, we'll probably get at least a couple rides on Iron Gwazi before the park closes. The park closes at 9, so you can see where we're at, and Iron Gwazi is basically over there. Someone wanted to go on Falcon's Fury at that point in time, so someone's spoiled. I can't I help it. I nighttime footage and that's POV true. also with uh, Iron Gwazi in the back. Yeah, that's true. Background. So, that's, that's one positive. So, hopefully uh, the rain doesn't really make an issue. I don't know. We'll see, though. But uh, uh, our goal is probably to get last ride of the night. But I think probably first... Uh, like last time, but you didn't change your batteries. Yeah, I know. If you remember from that June vlog, which I'll put a link in that car, I think you kind of noticed what I mean. I didn't change the battery and I didn't get the nighttime footage. Now, that's going to change. But I mean it's going to change. It's going to change. We're hoping for that true nighttime footage. I mean, you kind of see out there. It's just kind of there. All right, let's get over to Iron Gwazi. Iron Gwazi, look at her. Look at her lit up. And look at the sky. Gee, my knee. Also, Gwazi Beats is going on. We got a guy bouncing drums and all, banging drums, and got some dancers in the front. As much as I'd like to check that out, we have some unfinished business here. I got plenty of battery this time. It's currently 8.36 right now. Time to get some rides and marathon the hell out of this thing. Let's go. Oh yeah, I kind of want to add a little thing too. Um, it's drizzling. So, I really don't know what to expect in this ride, but... Oh boy. This ride's going to be nuts. Can't wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my
stop that, man. It's just been a legendary ride. That was one of the best rides I've ever Holy crap. That was wild. Oh my god. Wow. So we did back row in the rain, and unfortunately, it's closed. Couple of minutes after nine, they have closed this off. Oh well. Let me just be the first to say, back row in the rain. What in the world? What? I mean, listen, nighttime overall, fantastic. Nighttime in the rain, what in the world? That's a whole different experience. That was wild. That was your first rain vibe, wasn't it? Yes. Oh my God. I mean, I've had a few. You can't see it. There it is. Look, the GoPro people. <laughs> oh my word. That was amazing. If that ain't a perfect way to end the night, I don't know what is. Holy crap, that was awesome. So, we have made it back to the car. I think as you can tell, it's raining. Pretty good. Not like terribly good, but terrible enough though. But uh, it's almost 30 and we had a great trip overall. And we got all the footage we need, so our trip this was all together uh thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed everything that you got to see here today uh be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're brand new to the channel of we the coasters hit the bell notification on any future uploads follow us on our instagram at we the coasters your voice is raspy <laughs> <laughs> oh bite me there until then i'll catch you guys later until the next video i'm out peace lynn say goodbye see you guys i'm out peace